please welcome this week's special guest, Jamie. <laughs> Rory, who is Jamie to you? This is Jamie, and after a mix-up in a tattoo parlour, we now have each other's tattoo. <laughs> Daisy, how do you know Jamie? This is my ex-boyfriend, Jamie, and I used to put sleeping pills in my parents' tea so I could sneak him into the house. <laughs> and finally, Lee, what is your relationship with Jamie? This is Jamie. While staying at an Airbnb, I mistook him for an intruder and attacked him with a whisk. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we have it. David's team, where would you like to begin? Uh, Daisy, when did you go out with Jamie? When I was about 14, 15. Where did you get the sleeping pills? My mother had them to get to, get to sleep. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was the drug? It was just regular kind of night owl sleeping pills. I don't know. Over the counter. Over, yeah. the counter. Over the counter. But they weren't prescription. They weren't like some hardcore thing from a, no. from a doctor. So you were literally you were trying to get them just to nod off a little bit earlier than they than they would have done. Yes. What sort of time would you uh, would you administer the dose? <laughs> so I would administer, especially when they're watching Inspector Morse. So I'd say, can I make you a cup of tea? They'd say, yes, please, and I'd be in the kitchen <laughs> putting them in the... How many times did you do this? How often did you do this as a tactic? I think for the duration of our relationship. Which was? About a year. <laughs> <laughs> what was it about Jamie that was so unacceptable to your waking parents? <laughs> because he was a very angry goth. <laughs> and he didn't treat me very well. See, I wasn't necessarily assuming that your parents didn't approve of the relationship, <laughs> just that they didn't approve of you, the no. thought of you holding hands with him. No. Did you think you were coming on Jeremy Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you've drugged your parents. <laughs> what happens next? Then they go to sleep. What, in the chair? No, they say... <laughs> And you say, come on in, you come, um, my lover, don't worry about them, they're out for the game. <laughs> they, they, they say, strangely, this episode of Inspector Morse <laughs> doesn't seem as gripping <laughs> as all. <normal. laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's get an early night. <laughs> who cares who did it? <laughs> they get very tired yeah. watching the show. They pootle off up to bed. At this point, he's finished work at the Chinese restaurant, so I sneak him round the back around the back gate. And because he he's a goth, he's very well camouflaged in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> then Mum goes to bed and we just listen to Iron Maiden very quietly and write, <laughs> write goth poetry together. <laughs> I've never heard that euphemism. No, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, OK, and this happened for about a year. And were your parents unaware of the relationship altogether? Um, no, because they woke up once. <laughs> And... You went and got the chloroform and the hanky. <laughs> <laughs> so they woke up and my mum walks into the room to find some black goth hair on my pillow and says, Paul, which is my dad, get down here now. Daisy's smuggled in Jamie. Kick him out of the house and say something responsible. So my dad said, get out my house, you pillock. <laughs> OK, now then, what about Rory? OK, so, Rory, what was going to be your tattoo and what tattoo did you end up with? I wanted uh, a tattoo of a crescent moon. Quite classy. Yeah. Instead... Yeah. Easy. <laughs> instead, I got a picture of Popeye's face. <laughs> and where? Just there on my left shoulder blade. Have you still got it? Yes. And how did the mix-up occur? We were on holiday in Thailand together. Bit of a lad's booze up. One thing led to another. We all got a bit merry, shall we say. And I don't think it was Jamie's idea. <laughs> I think it was probably Sam, my other friend, who said, let's all get tattoos. Yeah, that sounds like Sam. That's a kind of... <laughs> it's a very Sam thing to do. Yeah. When, when was this, Rory? Late 2000s. The um, late 2000s? Sorry, uh, sorry uh, early 2000s, my bad. The early 2000s? Yes. Well, the late 2000s would be nearly a 1,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> a long time in the future. So. 
So you're in Thailand. Yeah. Talk us through the the tattoo parlor. Where was it situated? Uh, Koh Phangan. So you fly in, you get to Bangkok, um, and then I think if you're lucky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then you, you travel to, uh, to Koh Phangan, Yang, and there's this little parlour, and um, they're used to tourists coming in all the time, and they have multiple beds, if I remember correctly. Uh, How classy. And um, <laughs> not that kind of establishment. And then you, you choose out of a book what you want. Yeah. And then you kind of so go... I know what a book is. I'll have, I'll have the number four, Jamie wanted the number five, or whatever With rice it was. Or... <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of establishment. Um, okay. And then they, they, so they... it is neither a restaurant nor a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of establishment it is is a tattoo parlour with beds and a low standard of administrative competence. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have gone out of storm on this stag weekend, David. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, how long was it before you realised the mistake? Immediately. Yeah, you stand up. You, there's a mirror there. You go like that. And there wasn't a picture of a classy crescent moon. There was a picture of Popeye's face with the, 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 the pipe and everything. <laughs> Who's more upset by this outcome, you or, or Jamie? Me, by far. Right. Absolutely. He's now got a classy crescent moon on his back. <laughs> I've got Popeye. Are you not following this? <laughs> OK, now then, what about, what about Lee? Uh, Remind us, Lee, of, of your claim. <laughs> so this is Jamie, and while staying in an Airbnb, I mistook him for an intruder and I attacked him with a whisk. <laughs> OK. And where was the Airbnb? The Airbnb was in Rye. And why were you staying in an Airbnb in Rye? Because I like to get away from my family. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to go away and write and just get some peace and quiet, so I go away for two what? or three days, occasionally, very occasionally. Why did you Get choose... married in the first place, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've asked myself every day the same question. Why did you choose a whisk over a knife? Well, <laughs> as you may know, that a lot of people uh, that are attacked in their home are often attacked with their own weapons, because what they do is they take a weapon, like <laughs> a hammer, and they go, get out of my house, and then the burglar panics, and then he grabs the hammer, and a fight ensues, and then the person ends up getting injured. So when I opened the drawer, I had to make a selection. And I couldn't go knife, for the reasons I've just explained. I, I looked at a big rolling pin. I could get attacked with that. But you can't go the other way, either. You can't pick up the Mr Men jelly mould. And I had to find out what was the perfect middle ground between... It looks aggressive and offensive, but I think it'll be all right if, if he tries to hit me with it. What's the most he's going to do? Mess my hair up? <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't want a knife, you wouldn't want to kill him. You'd have a wish, you could just beat him. You beat with a fork, you whisk with a whisk. The applause begs to differ. <laughs> <laughs> Let's set the scene. Paint a more vivid picture for us. It was daytime. It was Ooh. daytime? Yeah. Mm. I mistook him for an intruder because I, uh, I subsequently found out that on the email that was sent by the person who owned the house, they said, oh, by the way, someone's coming, uh, whatever it was, Saturday afternoon to have a look at the wood-burning stove. I hope that's OK. They'll only be 20 minutes or whatever. So I was asleep and it was about midday, something like that, and I hear uh, a, a noise downstairs. And then he starts playing around with the wood-burning stove. Oh, no. And, um... And I get worried. I yeah. think someone's down there. Because the noise is a... <laughs> uh, sorry, well, you are Welsh. Are you asking me the time? <laughs> <laughs> and so I go downstairs and um, <laughs> I, see, I see this figure. I panic. And I was going to say, get out, or else. I don't know what I was thinking. I just ran at him. I'll and I whip you to a soft peak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I definitely didn't say that to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, never say that to a strange man in your house, David. <laughs> and I whacked him on the back really hard, just kept whacking him and whacking him. You hadn't previously challenged him or asked him why he was there. You just went straight in and battered him with a hand whisk. I just panicked and I was just straight in, he went to the kitchen, course. got the hand, batter, batter, batter. <laughs> no, there's no battery involved. <laughs> we need an answer. So David's yeah. team is Jamie Rory's branded buddy, mm. Daisy's smuggled sweetheart, or Lee's innocent intruder? What do you think, Diane? Well, I'm not sure about Nightall. I don't think it's that strong. So I think Daisy's lying. Yeah. 
How old do you have to be to know about Popeye? Oh, that's it. I think Why would he pick... Yeah. It doesn't ring true. OK. You know that if it's not Daisy and not Rory, that oh, means yeah. it's Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Can't be Lee. Yeah. So, it's, what's it um, going to be, David? I think it's Daisy. You think it's yeah. Daisy? I could be persuaded that it's Daisy. We'll go with Daisy. You're going to say Daisy? Yeah. Jamie, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Jamie, and I used to sneak into Daisy's house. <laughs> Yes, Jamie is Daisy's smuggled sweetheart. Of course, this is not something you should ever do, putting sleeping pills in someone's tea. <laughs> and thank you very much, Jamie.